we need is a point to win the league. Hello there and welcome back to the channel. As always, thank you for coming back to this Kaiserslautern series with uh, Football Manager 2021. Um, we've got one game to catch up on before we go to Duisburg to hopefully secure the title. I was hoping we'd have done it here. Unfortunately, that wasn't to be. Um, but we did beat Zarbrücken 3-0. In a man of the match performance, Lucas Gottwald there heading us in front. Uh, we then were 2-0 up. A brilliant hit from... Uh, Kenny Prince Redondo in off the bar, a la Tony Yaboa, always makes a goal twice as good when it smashes in off the bar. Marlon Ritter then played in substitute, uh, Marvin Pourier, only his second goal of the season, uh, came on as a sub for uh, Lucas Valvis, who had, as you can see there, an uncharacteristically terrible, terrible match. Um, but it was another really good performance from us, and it has, it, it guaranteed automatic promotion. Um, unfortunately, Dresden did win their game so we we are effectively up if we have a look at the table um, we are effectively champions we're 18 points clear with 18 points to play for but we've got a 37 superior goal difference so um, we are basically champions we've just got to put the icing on the cake now um, all we have to do basically is either get a point or match Dresden's result. Seems, sounds simple really, doesn't it? And Dresden are away at Uerdingen, um, so hopefully, um, well, if they drop points, it doesn't matter what we do. But um, we've got a few little bits to get through, um, mainly for records that we could set. Um, if we just scroll down to find them here. Um, so we could be set for a points record, and these are all records we could break in this video. Um, we could break the points record. We're one point off the total of 85. Um, we've won 27 matches in the league so far, which is also a record. So that could be broken today. And if we score four goals, we'll also take the goal scored record as well. And Avdo Sparhic is on 15 clean sheets and he could equal the record for clean sheets in a season if he keeps one in this match. So plenty on the line today, plenty on the line. Um, we're not changing anything. I'm not changing a thing in the team. I don't need to. Um, I'm gonna keep Hersher, Hlusek is back. The only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him on the bench in place of Tim Rieder. Um, actually, I might have Tim Rieder on the bench for Backman. And um, then I've got cover basically everywhere on the pitch, there is cover. So. We are going to proceed to the match. If that's an unchanged, I don't know if that's the first time this season I've made, a, I've had an unchanged lineup. It might be. Um, if all goes to plan today and we win this, this will be the last league game that we do on camera. Um, I think we've got one more game against either Unterhacking or Uerdingen. I can't remember. It's one of the U's. Um, and then we've got the Pokal semi final. And then we've got four league games left. Um, so, yeah, I'm basically. This, is, this will hopefully be the last time we play a dry to league of game on the channel, which, you know, it'd be great. I mean, what, a, what an amazing first season at the moment, as things stand, champions of the third division and Pokal semi-final. I mean, for the first season, I couldn't have asked, I couldn't have dreamt for any more. And of course, we've got that game against Augsburg in the semi-final. We could be in the final. Who knows? Here's Gottwald. An early goal here would be nice. In the first 10 minutes would be the perfect start. Sickinger to Hoot. Spalvis. Lovely ball out to Shad on the overlap. Drilled across and Spalvis. How fitting is it that Lucas Spalvis is the man that sets us on the road. His 37th goal of the season. What a ball that is out to Shad from him. And then Shad plays it back in and the lethal Lithuanian sweeps it into that near post. And it is a dream start for De Rotenteufel. Kaiserslautern are ahead. Can we make it even better here? Feinkauf claims the ball. 
come on. All I need is for us to see the uh, the trophy lift as well. I'm hoping that'll be in this video. Um, I'm hoping it'll be the end of this match if we win it. I can't remember if it's at the end of the match or the end of the season. Um, I'm not sure. But here's Redondo. Oh, it's a long ball forward. Oh, he's missed it. Macridis should have put that away. It's Redondo who loses that. It's a brilliant, brilliant tackle. And then a long ball played forward. A great first touch. And he just, a little bit of composure needed there. And it could have been 1-1. And to be fair, it probably should have been 1-1. Right, I'm going to drop a demand more in early doors. That's not gone down well. Touchline shout-outs are not working at the moment. They're really not. Shad with the throw. Come on, halfway through this first half. Oh, Spalvis got to that. And it hit the woodwork. I, I, I think Spalvis got to that. It looked like he did. Maybe the throw-in hit the woodwork. I don't know. Um, we've had two bookings in this game early on, which is a bit worrying. But we are set to, to kind of, you know, get stuck in, go in there, let them know you're there kind of thing. As, oh, Lucas got Valt. Heads over in the near post. That was a chance. Come on, boys. I'm a bit disappointed it's not putting any latest scores up here. Maybe it's because we're so far clear. Maybe that's the thing. Um, at the minute, though, it doesn't matter what's happening elsewhere. We're champions as things stand. The inevitable championship uh, as it goes. Yeah, it was, um, Dresden are winning. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we're winning. But I'm not happy with the performance. I'm going to point my finger and say I'm not happy. Because it hasn't been a good performance at all. It was a good goal, a really well-worked goal. But we've had five shots in 45 minutes. That is not good. Um, we, we had a team meeting before the game as well, and that didn't go particularly well. Um, I clicked the wrong option. I said about as... I can't remember if... I think I said basically win the league and give the Kaiserslautern fans something to cheer for. And they all agreed. And then I clicked the button that says... I'm, I'm happy with your action and I respect the ones of you that don't agree with me. And everybody then seemed deflated. <laughs> Nobody disagreed with me. I pressed the wrong option. So hopefully that's not having a negative effect here. Um, but we are going to make some changes because we've got some really shocking performances. So Klein Sorga can come on. So can Hendrik Zuck. So can Nicholas Sessa. That's three. Um, and I'm actually going to bring Klusek on for the booked Hersher as well. So I'm making a quattro change. And the other one, Chief Chief's having a really poor game. Really, really poor game. He didn't have a great game in that Zabrucken match either. I think he got like a 6.7 in that match. Um, come on. Fire up entire team. Does that do it? Oh, it's worked on a couple of them. Um, Marlon Ritter might have to come off Lucas Gottwald could do with maybe coming off let's see what happens here Gottwald out to Shad Sessa Klein Sorga I mean at the moment we're getting the points record at the moment we're getting the wins record Sparhitch will be equal in Spalvis is in and scored he's got another one um, yeah we're Two goals away from the goals record, which we will get by the end of the season, obviously. It would have been nice to have done it here, though. It's still time. We've still got ten minutes. Lovely header from Zuck. Lovely first touch. Brilliant finish, as always, from Lucas Spalvis. I'm not taking him off now. He's on a hat-trick. He was nowhere... That's not a tight offside, is it? He was nowhere near. Right. I'm going to... Who can I bring off? Can I bring Marlon Ritter off? Have I got anyone on that I could bring on for him uh, oh yeah we'll give back out again um, I mean at the end of the day we've won the tri title now um, so for the next game because we've got the Augsburg game on the horizon for the next league game I can rest a lot of players now um, it doesn't matter I can play 11 different players it isn't going to matter uh, we're not going to get the goal record today but I think we're going to get all the rest oh Sparhitch isn't going to get his He's not going to equal the clean sheet record. Max Sauer has scored. 
It's a well worked free kick. It's a brilliant finish. His first goal of the season. Number two. Is he a right back then? And that was. Oh. I tell you what, that was a lot tighter than Spalvis. Oh, we're not going to see the. Um... Oh, that's annoying. I'm just going to put hands on hips. You've sealed the title. We're, we're, we're champions. Get in. Do we not see the trophy lift now? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that really is annoying. Oh, I really wanted to see the trophy lift. Oh, well. It looks... I don't know when it's going to be then. I'm guessing it's after... After the final game of the season, maybe, which is at home against Vale. Maybe I'll come back and do that. Maybe I'll come back and do that one then. Um, it, as long as we don't get the trophy lift before that. So we've got Unter Hacking away, uh, sorry, at home. And then we've got that massive game against Augsburg. As I say, I will, I mean, we've, I don't really need to do any rotation, do I? Because they'll all be fit for Saturday. And then there's a week to the Augsburg game. So I don't really need to do anything. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching. What a dream season. What a dream season. Um, the plan is that that's going to be the last league game. However, if we haven't lifted the trophy before we play bottom of the league Vale, we will do that one on camera after the whenever our cup journey ends. But the next video is the big one. The Pokal semi against Augsburg. I reckon we can win it. I really think we can win it. Um, oh, cannot wait for that. As always, smash that like button for me, uh, turn on the notifications and subscribe, jump in the comments and the description. And I will see you very, very soon for the visit of Augsburg. Thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, bye-bye.